What's up guys, it's Kaze here. So, I actually just left Monday Night Raw, and God, what a show, what a night. So this was actually my first Raw in about 10 years. The last time I went was to another Monday Night Raw right after Elimination Chamber. On that card, we had the Shield versus the Wyatt family, and Seth Rollins kind of left the match early. Kind of foreshadowing his turn later on. And that was the last time I actually got to see Bray Wyatt in person. So I knew this one had a lot to live up to. But luckily, I knew CM Punk would be in town. I knew Cody would be there. However, I did not expect The Rock to show up. So for those of you who don't know, I've been covering The Rock's antics for the last six weeks. So in some weird way, I feel like I actually know The Rock. Not literally though, that would be insane. So when I hear his music hit, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda marked out. So, I'm gonna get to The Rock in just a second, but just to give you a bit more context of what he did tonight, I want to explain to you what I experienced. So, before we even walk into the arena, we run into Liv Morgan, and she was very polite, she was very nice, we took a picture and she told us to enjoy the show. And I thought I'd be nervous, but I felt pretty at home amongst the WWE fans. It was a really welcoming crowd. I was also dreading a really long line, but getting in was pretty smooth. So I paid $24 for my beer and water, and I found my seats. The show starts, and the entire crowd is just buzzing for CM Punk to come out. Like, that's all they really want. They're chanting his name before the show starts anyway. And it's his hometown, so of course we're happy to see him. Instead, we get Cody. And he starts cutting his promo about how he needs us to fight with him on WrestleMania night one and two. By the way, promos were a bit hard to hear in the arena. I don't know if Allstate just has a horrible PA system or if WWE travels with a horrible PA system, but it was really hard to pick up and very echoey. And here's something actually crazy. Cody gets the entire crowd to point at the WrestleMania sign. But from my perspective, and I don't know if you saw this on TV, it looked like everybody was putting up the day one bloodline hand signal. And then out comes The Rock. Man, I've never been so happy to be hoodwinked, bamboozled, and smeckledorfed a day in my life. That's not even a word. I agree with you. So The Rock comes out, does a full entrance, and I mean poses on each corner, whispers something to Cody, and then just leaves. And we're all in the crowd booing, but at the same time, we're like, I guess his presence was enough? The Rock is later asked backstage what he said to Cody, and he tells the reporter, go ask Cody what he said. Based on how the night ended, it's a bit more clear on what he said. So after a few good matches that were way better in person, specifically JD McDonough and Ricochet, CM Punk comes out and he cuts a great promo just running down everything that's been going on in WWE lately, storyline wise. Then he calls out Drew McIntyre and they have such a heated back and forth. It's actually the back and forth I wish Cody would have against The Rock. So I think they're leaning towards having CM Punk commentate for the match at WrestleMania between Drew and Seth. I think it's a good way to have Punk at WrestleMania without him being too involved. I don't think the match loses anything if he doesn't do it, but it does add a bit more to the story if he does do it. Speaking of Seth, during the main event, he was also involved in a mid-match brawl between Jimmy and Solo Sokoa. This left all of Cody's help distracted, and then the screen just cuts to the rock, and he's beating the hell out of Cody Rhodes. So Cody's profusely bleeding and then The Rock takes off his weight belt that nobody knew he had on. The Rock then takes some of Cody's blood and rubs it on the belt and now he's talking to Cody's mom saying he's gonna give her the belt? You take that however you want. Now in my last video I said that I wanted Cody to come out this week and be more aggressive and be more unforgiving. I don't think he understood the assignment. So yeah guys, I think Cody's character is always going to be one of those underdog characters where he can't ever be the aggressor. Which is unfortunate and it may not work in the long run, but currently it's still telling a pretty good storyline. The Rock's actually supposed to be on Raw next week as well, so we'll see how this continues to unfold. As well as seeing what happens on Friday. It's about 1.30am my time as I'm recording this, so I'm going to go to sleep now. I hope everybody got home safe tonight. I really appreciate the love and support I'm getting from you guys. It makes late nights like these a lot easier to work through. 
Put your seatbelt on, and until next time, keep it cozy.